Welcome to Drink Wine Be Crafty. I'm Megan. Um, today I am doing a glitter Mod Podge versus a glitter spray paint wine glass. I really wanted to do a wine glass, but I wasn't sure which one would be best. So I'm going to use this clear coat to seal both. Um, and then for the glitter and the Mod Podge, you're going to need a sponge brush and then just a regular brush. Um, you'll need one that you can use to when it's dry to get some of the glitter off. But really this is kind of just a oh and some painter's tape. Let's see is that everything? I believe so. Um, I couldn't find really anybody that had done a you know comparison and how they would look together and whenever I decided I wanted to do this craft I really didn't know because of course spray paint is so much easier but we're gonna start with the Mod Podge and the extra fine glitter is what you're gonna need now I did already take this off and then I put some saran wrap over the top because I don't want glitter to get in my glass and all over the spots I don't want it to be in so I taped it off with some painters tape and then I actually taped it off again with the, the saran wrap and then I taped around the saran wrap so anyway we're going to apply a generous amount of Mod Podge here and then we're going to do our first coat of glitter and then we will do the same thing with the spray paint. We'll just do it's kind of like a round one um, coat and we will see how they look after that. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, after the first coat, obviously the glitter, the fine glitter, is way more vibrant and bright. And I actually did a really small coat or a light coat of paint because it was getting thick, but the glitter wasn't very thick. It was almost just a lot of moisture with the the spray paint and I will tell you that the spray paint does get clogged and you will sometimes have to pull off the spray the top that you push down you pull it off and put it back in and make sure that it doesn't get clogged and when you're finished you need to tip it over and spray for a few seconds with the can upside down that will help it not get clogged for next use but let's put on the second coat and see if we can get it a little bit more glittery <music> Now before you do the second coat of the Mod Podge, you just want to have a dry brush and get the glitter off of the, the cup, just the excess that's not really sticking. And then you're going to put another generous amount of the Mod Podge on and do the next coat. Now that we have, I did two coats on just the Mod Podge and the glitter and I actually did a third coat off camera of the spray paint and it's really hard to see. It does have a little bit of a shimmer. I feel like the camera doesn't pick it up as well as it is in person. But um, the next step we're just going to remove the painter's tape and just see what it looks like. Now I did not mention that it had, I did two hours between each coat um, and then I, it's actually been two hours since I've put the uh, sealant on it, which I also did not do on camera because I didn't think you guys would be interested in seeing me spray paint some sealant on. I just did a light coat and this seems a little sticky, so I'm not sure if this is quite ready. Um, it probably would be best to wait overnight, but I've already I've already been waiting so long to see what this is going to look like. I'm being impatient. 
that's probably why I really wish the spray paint was this glittery because for me that's what I need to use but yeah this is not this isn't gonna work right now let's do let's try the spray paint one and see if it's ready okay so for this one we're going to remove it and see how it looks and then I'm gonna let the other one sit for a couple more hours and see if it'll be ready it has been really rainy today maybe it's just the weather but let's this one already seems to be peeling off so much easier This one was really easy. It came off really simple. It was really clean. Um, I, I'd have to say that that is a big pro on this one. Okay, it's been a couple more hours. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm taking this off. It It is still a little stretchy. I'm guessing that one, I put too much Mod Podge or that I should have let it sit overnight between uh, each coat. But either way, next time I will do less Mod Podge with each coat and I'll let them sit longer just to make sure that this doesn't happen because as you can see it's just kind of messy looking and it's really sticky but let's see what we can do with this and see how it'll look when we get this all off. Let's go. Let's go. So in this process, I have found out that there are some pros and cons to both. I do like the glitter um, effect on this one, but I wish, I really wish the glitter effect was as strong on the spray paint because it's so much easier and it's got such a, a cleaner look. It does have a good shimmer on it. I don't think that the camera picks it up very well, but it does shimmer. And I think I'm going to play around with some projects with both of these techniques and tweak what I did with the glitter one but let me know what you guys think hopefully this was helpful at least you can see just how they look and the differences and maybe that'll help you figure out what you want to do with each technique and I will see you next time guys bye